confirm uh, Jesus, I got you on my mat. Amen. Jesus, 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 I got you on my mat.
And what I felt was lightness in my soul. A lightness I had never, I didn't think I was being hindered by anything. I thought I was fine. Yes, sir. But what I found out was there were some burdens there that was holding me down that I didn't know that they was holding me down until they got released. Yes. Once they got released, I had a newness. Yes. A lightness. Yes. We talked about putting your light to shine. Yes. Forgiveness is a secret. Yes. To forgive, then Jesus says, I can ask my Father to forgive. So I want each and every one of you to look at your lives. You don't have to raise your hand. You don't have to come forward. You know, you can just look at your life and go, is there something there that's hindering my faith? Is there something there that I need to get rid of? Now, of course, if you want to come to the front, acknowledge it. The Lord would be pleased. But he'll be pleased even if you just go to him in private. Yes, sir. And say, Lord, here this thing is and I don't want it no more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, we've been given a lease on this earth for 6,000 years yes, sir. from Adam. Yes. I looked over the 6,000 years this morning and I said, Lord, we've done a lousy job. Oh, yes. There's been hot spots. There's been blessings, there's been outreaches, there's been revival throughout the land in different parts of the world over these 6,000 years. But overall, we have not done well. I asked the Lord, I said, how can you help us? He said, put me where I belong and I'll put you where you belong. Well, we've taken him out of our school. We've taken him out of our leadership. And in a lot of places, we've taken him out of his house. And we need to put him back. We need to put him back and believe me. I read the Bible and it says that the church finishes well in this 6,000 years. There's going to be an outcropping, an outpouring of the Spirit upon all flesh. We don't have a lot of time left. I know that you think, well, I ain't even concerned about it. But I'm here to tell you, you need to be concerned about it. Because eternity is what's at stake. Being with God for eternity is being what is at stake. So I ask if anyone here has not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, that they come forward. Any here that would like to redeem their life and start a fresh need to come forward. The Lord is waiting. We've got a revival coming soon. We need to be ready and do our part.
keep on praying until something happens. Keep on praying until something happens. Don't you give up because that's what Satan wants us to do. Give up, throw it in the towel. Say, I can't take it no more. I'm done. But don't you do it. Just turn it over to the Lord. He will work it out, though. I guarantee He will. Amen. Amen. Amen.
know where you come from. You come from nothing to a little something. When you look back to where you were, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. I was asking you like a God feel. I was never. But I know it. It's hot outside. And I listened to my grandma tell me the right way to God. But if it had not been for the Lord, Let us all stand. 
I mean, that the righteousness required of the law might be fulfilled in us yes. who do not walk according to the flesh, mm -hmm. but according to the Spirit. Yes, sir. And God is Spirit. Yes, sir. And those who worship God must oh. worship Him in yes. Spirit. Yes. 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 We are not working for the devil no more. All right. See, the law taught us, see, because when God said, Thou shalt not kill, uh -huh. see, we look to the law. Mm -hmm. God told Moses to give the children of Israel the law. God gave us the law because when we begin, the first thing we go to is Genesis to yeah. learn. Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Yeah. Right. And the earth was out for a war. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. Right. And the Spirit of God who over the face of the wall. Yes. yes. Us. Us. His spirit. Yes. yes. He told me, and I said, Pastor, I will not leave you in company, but I will, I will, I will send a help. Yes. That's the comforter. It's the Holy yes. Spirit. Yes. That's the light that had given us uh -huh. eternal life. Yes, but the choice up to us. Right. I'm not up here for no fashion show. Right. I'm not up here for no Paul. I'm up here being obedient to God. Yes, God told me to preach the gospel. Yes. And it's not about us. See, God already paid the price on the cross. Yes. For I see him when he died. Yes. But he didn't stay on that cross. Right. He rose. He rose. He rose. He rose. So that when we leave these bodies, when we die, that we will rose with him. Yeah. And yeah. be with God. Yeah, yes, sir. That's the gospel.
Through pastors. Pastors is a today Paul. And I'm today too. <laughs> and he always give me instructions. Because like pastors say, there ain't nothing else but Jesus.
everybody.
mirror tree, but you can tell that mirror tree to be cast in the sea. Yes. See, that's me. That's why I don't worry about what to say. Because you know when God is in the house. See, I want you to check it on down.
after we've already asked God to forgive us. Yes. And I think what we would see if we looked up in the heaven and we start blaming ourselves again and the Lord looks over to the angels and says, what are you talking about? <laughs> because I have forgot it as far as I don't remember what what you talking about. <laughs> Because he's already forgiven us. Yes. Yes, we need to learn to walk in his righteousness. Yes. We're going to learn how to put on the armor of God. Yes, sir. I've got some teachings that's on YouTube. It's going to be about eight, eight, eight messages long. And I didn't know it when the Lord back in 2015 was having me start with lesson one. Lesson, he didn't tell me what the end was going to be from the beginning. He knew it. I didn't know it. All right. And when I got to the eighth message, he said, Now, you have just put on in the last seven all the pieces of how to put the armor of God on, the full armor. So if you get a chance and you want to learn, do you have it on? I asked a preacher one time, I said, is it important in Ephesians 6 to put on the whole armor of God? He said, absolutely, amen. I said, good. I need a question answered. He said, what was that? I said, how do I check myself to see if I got it on? <laughs> he went, you got to put it on. I said, I understand that, but how do I check myself to see if I've got it on? He couldn't answer it. He could preach, we've got to put it on. But he couldn't tell me how to get it on. Yes, sir. And, and the teachings, I hope, will enlighten us how to put it on. And when I got to the eighth lesson, I went, it's a process. It's a process. It's not like we put on our clothes today. It's one piece, and then you can move to the next piece. And then you can move to the next piece. Right. And when you get the sword in your hand, the devil shakes. Right. And that's where we want to shake. Yeah. The army that he's building right here in this time. I believe we'll be able to wield the sword of the Spirit.